So the first step in applying Plasti Dip is making sure that the surface is clean and free of contaminants because you want it to stick as good as you can. So I just put some rubbing alcohol on this towel. I'm gonna run it over the emblem. And if you have emblems that have smaller letters, then you can use a um, Q-tip with rubbing alcohol to get in between the letters. And also putting alcohol on it will allow the Plasti Dip to come off the painted surface uh, once you've applied the Plasti Dip. So the next step is to create a border around here so you don't get a lot of overspray. You just take your normal painter's tape or masking tape. I'm gonna give ourselves a little bit of an edge. And then once we do this, we're gonna put the newspaper around it so that we don't get more overspray that we have to get cleaned up. Okay. And then we're gonna take our newspaper It helps in you, if you do this in the garage if you can, so you don't get the wind blowing your paper all around. So the Plasti Dip we're using is from Walmart and it's the black color and it is 588 and this one can should easily do many emblems. So we're gonna go ahead and spray it. So we're gonna start about six inches away and just do sweeping passes. And we're gonna do light coat to start. We're gonna let that dry while we move on to the next emblem. So now we're gonna do the Honda emblem that we have taped out. And here's coat two, 30 minutes after the first coat. Spraying from above so that we get the tops of the letters. Now we'll let that dry. So the letters are not completely covered on this side because I've not sprayed from underneath and from this direction. So we need to do that with this coat. And we're gonna do the same thing from this side to get underneath here. So the last step is to remove all of the surrounding newspaper and pull the tape off so we can go ahead and start peeling the plastic dip. So we're gonna slide over to this one. So now this final tape is gonna start the peel of the, the final area. And I'm just trying to get it to create an edge that we can start peeling from.
There we go. And you just pull and it should come up around the letters. Just go careful. And if you have easy letters like a Civic, then you don't have to use a toothpick or anything to get in between the letters. It just peels around them super easily. In order to get the plastic dip out of these harder to reach sections, I've used this plastic tool, um, trim tool, to try and use a surface that won't scratch the clear coat. But you just go, you just kind of scratch at the plastic dip till you get a little bit of a hole. And then you can use your finger to kind of stretch it out. And once you stretch it out, then it'll pull up enough that you can grab enough to pull it right off and then it's clear. And that's the final product, simple as that.